It's a breaking news we brought you earlier on Local 15 News. A five-hour standoff in Midtown Mobile ends with the suspect dead and another person seriously injured. Local 15's Jasmine Williams was on the scene when it all came to an end and joins us now with the latest. Jasmine? Well, Andrea, police identified the suspect moments ago as 20-year-old Brandon Davis. Authorities said he was shooting at officers and after hours of negotiation, he was found dead inside the home he barricaded. Officials are now investigating what happened and how. 26 pounds, copy. Possibly with a hostage. All units hold your perimeter and stay with the guy. A 911 call of a person shot in the face near Pleasant Valley Road turned into a mini war zone Sunday afternoon. 2 p.m., officers were responding to the shooting nearby when they were greeted with gunshots. Authorities say the suspect shot at police several times before barricading himself in a home nearby, taking a hostage. We have a hostage situation where the suspect has entered another residence and taken a female hostage. At this time, we do have our uh, tactical unit out and we actually trying to negotiate and talk to the suspect. 3 p.m. The female hostage was released. The suspect still inside. Police blocked off several roadways nearby. Residents forced to leave and remain outside. We just all standing here looking, trying to figure out what's going on. 5 p.m. What was going on? A full-on standoff. What started off as a person shot turned into a hostage situation and now this. Tear gas, flashbang grenades being used to get the suspect out of the house. I really didn't know what was going on and it was kind of crazy. 6.30 p.m. As the sun sets, the scene shifts. Some people were allowed to return back home. Investigators continued talking to the suspect until he stopped communicating. Around 7 p.m., police went inside the home and found him in the back bedroom, deceased, with no apparent gunshot wound. Victim was shot in the face in both arms when the standoff first started. He was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. As for Davis, an autopsy will be performed to determine exactly how he died. Andrea.